Hi guys, and welcome back to video two of Internet Business Success for Beginners. Start to build your internet business empire. By the end of this video series, you'll know the answers to the following questions. Number one, how to build your online brand. Number two, how to create an e-commerce store to sell products online. If you missed the last video, please click the link in the description to watch it later on so that you'll have the full picture of understanding. Okay, let's get started. Chapter three, build your online brand. In today's competitive business world, success is dependent on ensuring that your company, name, brand, identity, and distinct personal brand are all available in every nook and cranny of the internet. Why do you require a brand? In today's business, People feel compelled to do business with people they trust or have a romantic interest in. Trust is tough to gain, but at the end of the day, people will only trust you if they have a connection with you. Creating some kind of awareness about the type of business that you operate as an entrepreneur, the kind of things that you stand for, and the overall goal of the business will be the main focus of building an internet brand. Creating an online brand will allow you to quickly establish a sense of likability and create a much needed fan following. Creating an online brand will go a long way towards increasing your reputation simply because you have demonstrated that you're prepared to accept that your brand is out there for anybody to locate. Creating an online brand can help you obtain trust, which is one of the most crucial aspects of sales process which will lead to more prospects, customers, and eventually revenues. Recognizing your brand. Having a brand essentially implies that you will identify your company's key principles and the promise that you will make to your consumers. It may simply be regarded as a statement of your company's attributes and qualities. Branding will go a long way toward presenting your firm in such a manner that consumers will automatically think of it as the one target whenever they want your service or product. Ideally, the aim of branding is for customers to be loyal to your brand and to feel comfortable promoting it to any other potential consumers they may know. To create a powerful and persuasive brand for the general public, you must first create a mission statement that communicates your beliefs and purpose. Begin with thinking words and statements that will explain the general aim of your business that you're operating and its overall influence on your client to assist you with this process. Discover your customer's overall perception of your brand. To begin, you must initiate a campaign to determine whether your perception of your brand is the same as that of your consumers. By shifting viewpoints and observing your brand through the eyes of the client, you will have a lot better understanding of what they think to be truly significant and significant to them. You will then be able to nitpick through the brand aspects to determine which ones require the greatest work. Here, you'll want to pay close attention to the informal comments you're certain to get from social media sites looking for that one outstanding or consistent term that clients will use when describing your brand. It could be useful if you made a list of the most often used terms by consumers. Concentrate on conveying benefits rather than features. It's critical to remember that your company's qualities will always remain its qualities. Characteristics aren't really useful on their own. The advantages, on the other hand, will inform the clients about how a certain service or product can benefit them. If you choose to emphasize on the benefits of the product or service, there is a better chance that it will create a lasting impact on the clients. As a result, constantly strive to identify the qualities of the firm and transform these aspects into advantages. Asking yourself, how does this feature assist the customer? Is a simple method to ensure that you achieve this it may also be beneficial to include a few case studies or testimonials on your website where consumers may express the overall benefits of your products or services and their experiences. 
Attempt to cultivate relationships rather than transactions. The entire purpose of relationship marketing is to build a channel via which you can build and promote your overall brand image. To summarize, the goal here is to guarantee that your firm is the first firm that a consumer thinks of when they want a specific service or product. To assist you with this, you may want to try using social media to create relationships with your key consumers by engaging in a variety of conversations. Another fantastic strategy to create these ties is to employ loyalty programs. The goal of these programs is frequently to reward consumers for doing business with you. You may also want to try developing a mailing list of your consumers and sending them newsletters with fascinating material that will be helpful to them on a regular basis, thereby reminding them of the general relevance of your brand. Be sincere. Being real is becoming increasingly valuable in today's society. Customers will frequently gravitate toward a firm that they believe is transparent in their day-to-day -day dealings. It's feasible to put yourself and your team in the forefront of the company's brand. The millennial generation has shown a preference for supporting small companies and organizations with individuals whom they feel they can relate. You may want to upload videos and photographs of yourself, your team, and your workplace on your different social media sites to assist you to do this. You may want to add a personal touch by adding small bits of information about your hobbies, interests, and family. Nonetheless, it's critical that you only use social media sites that are relevant to your unique business and to your consumers in general. To assist you with this, you should do research on the platforms that clients use most frequently and focus all of your efforts here. Make certain that your brand is consistent. It would be helpful to your brand if you ensured that your online and offline presences were in harmony. The goal is to guarantee that your brand is viewed consistently each time a customer interacts with your company. This is a complete package that includes internet advertisements, a website, print advertisements, business cards, product packaging, employee uniforms, and office or retail signage. Maintain consistency in evaluating or upgrading all aspects of your brand, which may include items such as your website, content, graphics, photos, logo, and colors. This should be done at the very least once a year. You may also want to consider giving your brand some personality. To do so, just decide on the tone that your firm will use on social media. Aim to determine what your clients respond to the most, whether it's cute, touching, or more serious postings. You should always consider that you provide them with the appropriate information. Invest in training your employees on how to protect your brand. It's critical to ensure that all members of your team are aware of and completely comprehend what your brand represents. It's critical that you develop a process and processes that specify how staff should engage with customers in order to assist, promote, and defend your brand. If you're able to give your personnel regular training, this will go a long way toward ensuring that your staff understand how to properly communicate your brand to the public. You might also want to consider developing a system for interacting with consumers on social media. Additionally, you may want to keep a tight eye on all online interactions with consumers and recognize staff who are effective in expressing your brand to the public. Ensuring that your brand is always evolving. It is smart to create a marketing calendar that details the many duties that you will need to complete each month, week, and day in order to promote and publicize your company. A good schedule should contain search engine optimization, SEO, online advertising, social media, website updates, email marketing, and traditional advertising. Keep track of the results of your social media outreach, SEO and online advertising to determine their success. If you see anything that does not fit, 
change it so that it's consistent with your overall strategy. When necessary, use the services of third-party organizations to streamline and simplify advertising and marketing. The benefit of having professionals handle your brand is that they may assist you in creating the image of a larger brand. It's worth emphasizing that in order to have a feeling of success with your branding, you must be patient. It takes time, but the rewards are well worth the wait. Do not expect to see instant effects. There is a need to communicate with your consumers in a way that is advantageous in terms of marketing your brand, with the goal of delivering long-term outcomes. Chapter 4 creating an e-commerce store to sell products online. Building an e-commerce business used to be a hard and expensive procedure a few years ago. Hiring competent specialists to code the required components so that your site runs effectively might cost you thousands of dollars. Today, you can build your own e-commerce site for as low as $20 a month, and you can do it all without any specialized technological knowledge. To be sure, if you've decided to establish your own e-commerce site, the procedure might be intimidating and perplexing. There are frequently a plethora of decisions to be made in this respect, and if you focus your efforts in the incorrect places, you will most likely squander a significant amount of time. The good news is that you don't have to guess what the optimal method of your business would be. Research for successful as well as unsuccessful firms may be used to assist you in building a profitable online store. Choose an easy to use shopping cart. Naturally, the more time you spend on a cumbersome shopping cart, the less time you will have to focus on the areas of the business that are actually important, such as developing useful content, marketing your brand, and communicating with your consumers. As a result, when establishing your site, make choosing an easy to use platform one of your top objectives. And this does not have to be permanent. You can easily modify it later if you believe it's necessary. If you want a simple approach to construct your online store, the best alternative is to utilize a fully hosted cart for which you can simply pay a monthly fee. These kinds of services are particularly handy since they all handle all of the money registration, hosting, and technical requirements. This will allow you to have your site up and running as soon as possible. There are a variety of solutions available here. However, Shopify is highly recommended. This cart is highly appealing due to its amazing features, support, and performance. If you're seeking from a different way to host your cart, there are several carts you may utilize. SparkPay, BigCommerce, Evolution, 3D Cart, and many more are examples. You will be forced to pay a modest monthly membership charge for practically all hosted carts. However, this is a little price to pay for the simplicity it will provide. You will no longer have to worry about security patches, frequent updates, and server setups. However, if you feel the need for greater control and are technically minded, you should consider putting up a self-hosted cart. There are other choices, however, WooCommerce and OpenCart are highly recommended for beginner business owners. WooCommerce is just a WordPress plugin capable of changing the omnipresent CRM into an attractive shopping cart. It is simple to install, even for inexperienced users, and comes with a variety of appealing themes. OpenCart, on the other hand, is a standalone open source shopping cart. It's well liked for its simplicity, customization, and minimal weight. If you're slightly tech aware and don't mind a little hard effort, this is highly recommended. Magento is another popular cart option right now. However, as a beginner online business owner, you should avoid using this cart. This is not to argue that Magento is a bad platform. On the contrary, it's very strong, but its biggest drawback is that it's overly complicated and difficult to host. Do not use this cart if you have a small team and do not have a coder that is solely devoted to your business. 
other self posted cards are accessible to you, and they are as follows Ultra Card, Spree Commerce, X Card, Presta Shop, and Satchmo are a few examples. Set up and launch as soon as possible. Even the greatest among us may get caught up in their own perfectionist impulses. However, when it comes to launching your online business, you may have to put it on the back burner. One of the most beneficial things you can do for your business is to launch your store as soon as feasible. If you are new to this niche, you may frequently persuade yourself that you understand what your consumers want or who they are. The focus here is on illusion because the fact is that you may have no idea what's going on. As a result, spending too much time constructing the perfect business that will be able to answer all of your clients' requirements, issues, and dreams is typically poor time management. You should set up a simple business as soon as possible to start interacting with consumers so that you can learn more about them. When you have a better understanding of your niche, you can go on to implementing the different modifications that your website may require depending on your newfound knowledge. In addition, while gathering information on your consumers, you were able to make a number of successful sales and a few recommendations. Another reason you should open your store as soon as feasible is because promoting your business often takes a significant amount of time and work. The sooner you can have your storefront up and running, no matter how simple it is, the sooner you can drum up business and announce to the world that you are in business. You should do the following to ensure that you can launch as soon as possible. Make use of images and descriptions. As previously said, if you're new to your niche, there is a good possibility that you know very little about the things that you're selling. As a result, at this time, you should simply utilize the information supplied by the manufacturer in order to launch swiftly. And much later, when you truly have more knowledge and something unique and authoritative to say, you may return to write a unique copy. Use a pre-developed template. Don't listen to these so-called world-class graphic designers who will convince you that you need a custom-built template for $5,000 thrive in e-commerce. There's a good probability that your end users won't notice the difference between a custom built template and a built in template. It's unusual to hear consumers say, hey, is that a one of a kind template? Thanks for watching. Please help to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. The next upcoming video will be talking about number one, how to do it yourself. Number two, how to perform relentless marketing. Number three, what are the factors for success for online shops? By the way, if you want to also have the text version of these videos, you can refer to the download instructions that are stated in the description.